if the set of values of a for which this equation has three distinct real roots is interval alpha to beta then we have to find the value of beta minus 2 alpha so in order to solve this problem we have to use the graphical method the given equation we can rewrite as 5x cube minus 15x equals to a and now we need to plot the graph of this function on left hand side and this line y equals to a and we have to see that what should be the range of a for which we'll get three point of intersection so first step plot the graph of this cubic polynomial on left hand side now in order to draw graph of any polynomial there are three basic steps first step is we have to find the behavior of this function at infinity that means when x is either plus infinity or minus infinity then we have to figure out what should be the value of y at infinity this term 5x cube this will dominate so if x is plus infinity then you can easily see that y will be infinity and when x is minus infinity then y will be minus infinity now the second step is to find the point where the derivative of this function will be zero because those are the turning points for the function so these are the only two turning points for the given polynomial now the third step is find the value of function at these two turning points so now we are in a position to plot the graph of this cubic polynomial when x is minus infinity y is minus infinity and so the graph will start in third quadrant there are two turning points minus 1 and plus 1 and when x is minus 1 y is plus 10 when x is plus 1 then y is minus 10 and also there is no constant term in this equation so the graph will pass through origin now these two turning points this point will be x coordinate minus 1 y coordinate will be plus 10 and this point is x is plus 1 y is minus 10 so this is the graph of the cubic polynomial 5x cube minus 15x and now we have to see that where we should draw that line y equals to a so that will get three point of intersection between the line and the cubic polynomial obviously y equals to a this will be a straight line parallel to x axis so if the value of a is between minus 10 to plus 10 then you can clearly see that will get three point of intersection and if a is greater than 10 or less than minus 10 then we'll get only one point of intersection so basically for three distinct real roots the range for a will be minus 10 to plus 10 and hence beta minus alpha this will be 30.